Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we have a few new additions to the fish room. But before I show you anything, I wanna give you a little bit of background. So basically, one of our friends that lives right up the street from us, he is an elementary school teacher. He has a few class pets, which include like five community fish and two African clawed frogs, just like the one I have. So he does keep the frogs and fish in his classroom, obviously. And now that school is out for the summer, he needs a place to put them and he doesn't want to take them home with him. So he asked me if I could take care of them for the summer. And of course I said yes. So with that being said, let's take a look at the new fish and frogs. Right here are the fish. Looks like a dwarf gourami, a couple small tetras, maybe bloodfin tetras. And then that orange red one looks like a, some kind of molly or platy. So these guys are going to go in my 25 gallon community tank. Ignore how foggy the tank is. I literally cleaned it like 10 minutes ago. So we're gonna let these guys start acclimating. And there we go. So we'll give them about 20, 25 minutes to acclimate. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes. I'm now gonna release these new fish into my tank. Here we go. And there they go. So we'll give them some time to get adjusted. And in the meantime, here is the frog tank. This tank is home to two African clawed frogs. Let's see, the other one's probably in here. Yep, and as you can see, they've got some size to them. These are not small frogs. They're definitely too big for this 10 gallon tank. So I'm glad that they're now in my possession. I'm going to set up a bigger enclosure for them. I'm actually gonna be setting up my old college dorm turtle tub for these frogs. These African clawed frogs like almost always stay along the bottom of the tank. So this tub will be a major upgrade for them. It has a lot more surface area, but in my room, I literally have no space to put it. So I'm gonna be putting this down in my basement on our ping pong table, which we don't use. So yeah, let's head down there and start setting up this frog pond. All right guys, we're in the basement. I have my tub right here. I have the frog tank right there. And the first thing I'm going to do is put some water in here so I can move the frogs in here. So then I can move the sand from that tank into here. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the frogs into this tank. Here's the first one. <laughs> they are massive, dude. Oh my gosh. And the second one. All right, so now I'm gonna start moving this sand into the pond. All right, so all the sand is in. Now I'm gonna put in their little hide, put that like right there. I'm also gonna put a few other decorations in here that they can hide in. So let me pet him. Hey there, buddy. All right, so now I'm going to continue filling it up with water. And then whenever we get the water level up, I will put in the filter. That is a hardcore glare. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I have the last of the water. We're gonna fill this thing as high as we can. Like I was saying earlier, these frogs don't need like a lot of depth because they're almost always on the bottom of the water, but they had barely any like swimming area in that 10 gallon tank. So this is a major upgrade and they still have a good three and a half, four inches of water. But now a lot of you guys are probably thinking, Carson, what the heck, they're gonna jump out. And I'm way ahead of you. If you remember from my outdoor turtle enclosure, I used this to keep any predators out. I'm gonna use this on this pond. And I'm gonna go around and staple it to the edges. And I'm only gonna go around the perimeter because that's the only spot they really jump. So I'm gonna like have the fencing go like this. So if they jump, they'll just get blocked. I also completely forgot to put in the filter. I'll do that now. That is gonna go right here. It's the same filter that I use every time I set up this tub for whatever it may be. This kind of filter is perfect for stuff like this. There we go, that a little lower. All right, so that'll get some good circulation. It's also producing some oxygen. Not that that matters because these frogs do breathe oxygen. But now I'm going to start cutting this wire fencing. And here is our frog pond all done. We're gonna give these guys a little bit to adjust to their new environment and I will check in on them in a little bit. 
All right, so it's a few hours later and pretty much this entire time the frogs have just been hiding in their little log. That's fine. That's what they do. They just chill out. But what I'm going to do now is actually move my African clawed frog, Freddy, into this frog pond. Adding those four new fish to my 25 gallon is really going to boost the waste production. And that tank is kind of on the edge of being overstocked. We're still good. But just to help that cause, I'm going to move Freddy into this pond. There he goes. They will all get along in here. These African clawed frogs really just mind their own business. And they're all close enough in size to leave each other alone. I'm now going to drop in some reptile pellets. In the classroom, these two African clawed frogs were being fed these small, like, tadpole slash frog pellets. These are the same ones I fed my African clawed frog when he was a baby. But now that they're big, I think it's better for them to eat these. And then I also mix in night crawlers every couple days. But for now, we'll just sprinkle some of those in. That should be good. They'll find those eventually. Oh, and also my African clawed frog is a male. So if either of the new ones are females, we might have some babies. But yeah, that's just about it for the frog pond. These frogs do not have names yet. Well, mine does. Mine's name is Freddy. But drop some name suggestions for the two new frogs down in the comments. Today's comment of the day goes out to Noah Rosales. Great video. Keep up the good work. I don't know how you don't have 1 million subs. Keep grinding. You will get there soon. Thank you, Noah. I appreciate that and I sure hope so. But if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. But drop some name suggestions. But drop some name suggestions. Suggestions.